Tis the season. It's that time of the year again where we're all out there trying to find gifts for our loved ones and our spouses or our kids or whatever. So what do you buy the runner in your life when you don't know anything about running? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit and today we're gonna talk about gift ideas for the runner in your life. This video is meant for people who are out shopping for their runner friends, family, kids, parents, whatever. You may not know everything about running, you don't know about the gear, what's involved when you're running in the winter, in the summer, what kind of things you eat, what kind of things you wear. These gifts are gonna range from really cheap from down to like five or ten bucks and they're gonna go all the way up to about five hundred dollars. So bear with me, there's a lot to cover today. Before we get into it, if you enjoy this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up down below and consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. I also want to let you know that down in the description down below I will have linked all of the products that I show in this video so if you're interested in any particular one make sure you check that out. Those are affiliate links and they do help support my channel but they cost nothing to you. Okay let's start with some of the cheaper stuff. Stocking stuffers. The first thing that comes to mind for me is nutrition items like gels or goos. In particular I really like these Cliff Shots. This one's the citrus flavor and I found that the citrus flavor really doesn't make me sick it doesn't really affect my stomach a lot of gels that have a really strong taste can kind of get to me and wear on me a little bit and make me nauseous and all that stuff these don't have that effect on me so I really enjoy them again this is all subjective this is just the stuff that works for me it might work for the runner in your life the next item in nutrition category would be uh, cliff bars these are a staple of people who do outdoor activities and it's no different for runners cliff bars are most importantly delicious and they come in a ton of different flavors you can get them in a variety pack on Amazon with all kinds of different flavors you can get them in this white chocolate macadamia nut which is my personal favorite this is a great real food if you're in a race environment or you're out hiking or whatever awesome to have the last item in the nutrition category I want to talk about is honey stinger waffles and these things are delicious they're packed with calories and, and carbs and they're great for running activities I think every runner on the planet probably knows what a honey stinger waffle is but this is a great stocking stuffer for just about anybody who's into outdoor activity another item that might fit into nutrition is salt stick pills and these are actually capsules filled with electrolytes I really enjoy these I actually lost the cap that's why there's no cap on there but I really enjoy these during a run and most importantly after a run to get a little bit more salt and electrolytes in my system if I'm feeling a little bit foggy after a run you can get these in a variety of sizes they come with like a sample pack with only a few in them and you can also get this big one with a hundred in them so if somebody's never tried it before maybe get them the beginner pack with just a couple to see how it works out with for them and maybe they'll buy more in the future another great stocking stuffer for the runner in your life is lube <laughs> sounds weird to say out loud right so this lube in particular is body glide I love this stuff so much I basically don't leave my house without it even when I'm not running you can basically stick this anywhere in your body the nether regions under your armpits on your shoulders on your feet uh, and it prevents chafing and blisters from forming it works really well I've used this on hundred milers it just it's amazing stuff again this comes in a variety of sizes this is the really little one that's really nice because you can stick it in your race vest for race day it also comes in a much larger size that's more like a deodorant stick again this is really inexpensive these range from like I think this is like a five dollar stick they go up to like ten dollars for the larger version so it's a nice little cheap thing to stick in the stocking the last stock Stocking stuffers I want to talk about are reflectors. These come in various different sizes. This is an amphipod version and this is a Nathan version. The amphipod version here is reflective at night so cars can see you. It's also got an LED that flashes on it. And the Nathan one here just has LEDs that flash inside. Another nice tool to have for running at night is the Gox Run straps. These are reflective straps that can be Velcroed anywhere on your body. You can put them on your biceps or your wrists or your legs or your ankles. These make you super visible to oncoming traffic. Uh, when the headlights hit these, they light up like crazy and they're really nice to have. Again, these are only a couple of bucks. I think that a six pack is under $10. These things are super important for visibility and they're great gifts during the holiday season. Okay, we're gonna move on to clothing now. A few items of clothing that I find really important and that I'd be stoked to have under the tree on Christmas. First off, I wanna talk about gloves. I've got a few different pairs of gloves for running during the winter, but these are a couple of my favorites. These ones are really cool. These are made by the North Face uh, and they, they are dual purpose. So they'll keep your hands warm and they also make you more visible for running at night and then when things get a little bit colder I like to wear these 
These are the Outdoor Research Storm Tracker gloves, and these are definitely not designed for running. I actually use these for ice climbing too, but uh, they are nice and thin. They don't really get in the way. I don't like big bulky gloves when I run. Uh, these are nice and thin, but they also keep you very warm because they have a Gore-Tex windstopper membrane on the outside. I usually pull these bad boys out during a race in December that I do every year, which got canceled this year. Come on, man. I tell you what, if my wife put these in my stocking, I'd be pretty stoked about that. <laughs> Next up, I wanna talk about Inji Inji Toast Socks. A lot of people have never tried toe socks because they make you look silly when you don't have shoes on. <laughs> I know, especially for me as like a guy, uh, when I put these on, my kids just laugh at me. They, they think I look silly, but I tell you what, these things are the most comfortable socks for really long distance runs. I wear these for every 100 mile or 50 mile or 50K, uh, even just regular runs, training. These are just amazing socks because they prevent any form of chafing between your toes since they wrap around all of your toes. Inji Inji toe socks come in a variety of different styles and shapes. Uh, these are the no-show, but I also wear mini crew, which raise up just beyond the heel of your shoe to protect your ankle a little bit when you're running on the trails. They also don't do that annoying thing where they slip down into your shoe and you can't get them out. So mini crew or no-show are my go-tos for Inji Inji toe socks. And again, these are pretty inexpensive. I think they're around $15 and a great gift idea, even for people who have never tried them before. This next item I'm already wearing. This is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. This item gets a little bit more expensive. I think it's about $130 typically, but you can usually find it on sale pretty often. But this is an essential piece of gear for every runner or even people who just go hiking or whatever. It's super lightweight. I think this jacket is under five ounces and it bunches up into a tiny little ball that you can stick in your pack, but it's fully waterproof. That's what's really awesome about this jacket. So if you get into nasty environment like winter running and your trail running, you're getting hit by the wind, it's snowing, it could be raining. This is just a great great tool to have in your vest or your pack or whatever. All right, next up I have the Path Project Psych Shorts. And yeah, it's the winter now. I'm not wearing shorts every day, but I still wear them occasionally. What makes the Psych Shorts so awesome is A, they're super comfortable and breathable. They don't have that annoying like built-in underwear inside, which drives me nuts in a lot of other shorts. And in the back, there's a giant pocket. There's actually three pockets in the back, but the most important one for me is this center pocket because check this out. This is an iPhone 12 Pro. This fits into yeah. It's a little snug, but it gets in there and it zippers up tight. So it's super secure. It has a phone inside and it doesn't really bounce around too much. Finding a way to carry an iPhone around is pretty difficult and the Path Project Psych Shorts do it awesomely. So they've become a real favorite of mine. The Path Project Psych Shorts are I think $47 right now and they're worth every penny. <laughs> all right, that wraps it up for clothing. Now I wanna talk about a couple of items that are related to hydration. We all gotta drink water while we're running, right? It would be a problem if you didn't. This first item is super handy for anybody who's a trail runner, a hiker, an outdoorsy person in general. Nice to have just in your car if you're that type of person. This is the Katahdin Bee Free Water Filter. So if I unscrew the cap here, the whole filter is inside of this little uh, capsule here. What's amazing about this is you can be out on your run, unscrew this, scoop up some dirty water in this bag here, this pouch, throw on the top here, and drink right out of it right there. It's filtered right through the cap and it's got a really high flow rate that makes it really easy to drink from. It's good for removing like Cryptosperdium and Giardia from your water source so it's safe to drink. Love this thing. I've had it for a couple of years. I might need a new one this year because it's looking a little dank, but it's a great tool to have in something I bring on every single trail run where I'm out there for a couple of hours or more. And another item on the topic of hydration is a handheld water bottle. I actually have a whole video dedicated to the handheld water bottle and why it should be the first item you buy as a new trail runner. These things are just so versatile. They're so handy to have, literally handy because it's stuck to your hand. You literally just stick it on there. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to grip it. A lot of people have the misconception of a handheld being uncomfortable because it's on your hand, but really it's super comfortable and it's a great lightweight way to get out the door. You don't need your vest. You don't need all that other stuff. You got your car key. You've got your handheld, some goose inside, your phone. Done deal, you're ready to run. These are really cheap. I think this one was like 22 bucks and this is my absolute favorite. This is the Nathan Quick Draw. I think it's uh, 22 ounces. Uh, it holds a ton of water for what it is and I can go up for like three or four hours with just this. Okie dokie, let's get into the fun stuff. Well, I think it's fun at least. Electronics. Now that it's dark at like four o'clock every day, you gotta have a headlamp. And what I've found lately is this BioLite 750 headlamp is just a beast. It is so bright, it's crazy bright and it lasts forever. 
forever. What's cool about the BioLite 750 is that it's actually got this brick in the back here and it actually displaces a lot of the weight that's typically in the front of a headlamp. Usually you've got a big heavy thing hanging off the front of your head and that typically tends to bounce while you're running and it's super annoying. BioLite solved this problem by taking all of the weight that's typically up front and putting it in the back. An added benefit to that is this is a huge rechargeable battery that lasts forever. The light on this thing gets up to 750 lumens, which is just crazy mind-blowingly bright. It's actually too bright. I have to dim it down while I'm running even on the road. And what I absolutely love about this thing is it's got a rear blinker for when you're running at night. You can see here. Again, I have a dedicated video about this headlamp coming up, but this is just a quick sneak peek. Definitely an awesome gift this holiday season. The BioLite 750 is a little bit expensive. It's about 80 bucks. If that $80 price point is just a little bit too much for you, you could consider this guy. This is probably my second favorite headlamp that I've tried, and I've tried quite a few. This is the Black Diamond Revolt headlamp. Again, this is a USB rechargeable headlamp. It's got multiple brightness levels, which is super important. It also lasts a very long time, and it's pretty lightweight and the Black Diamond Revolt retails for about $49. Another amazing gift for the runner in your life is Bluetooth wireless earbuds. I've got two here in two different price points, but they're both awesome for different reasons. So if you've got a little bit more money to spend, I would steer you towards the Jaybird Vistas. These retail for about $180. I think right now they're on sale for about $99, but these are my absolute favorite earbuds. They are my go-to every time I go for a run, whether it be on the treadmill, when I'm outside, when I'm on the trails, every time I run, I always have the Jaybird Vistas in my ear. I really enjoy them. What makes them so special is their build quality. First of all, they're super robust, they're waterproof, they're super rugged, and they're fit. They've got these really nice little ear hooks that actually hook into your ear, and they have a really secure, snug fit. These things will never fall out of my ear. I can shake around all day, I can run. They are just securely in there and they have a really good seal. Part two of why they're so awesome is they just sound amazing. It sounds like you have a giant speaker next to your head. I've got a whole dedicated video about the Jaybird Vista earbuds, so go check that out up here if you're interested. But yeah, I really love these things. Now, if the Jaybird Vistas are a bit too steep, a little bit too expensive, uh, this is a great budget option. These are the Tribit Flybuds 3. What makes these guys unique is that they actually have a USB power bank built into them and I find as a trail runner and ultra runner and I'm out there for a long time having this case on me that has a battery bank in it is an added perk. If my GPS watch died while I was out on the trail I would be able to plug it into my earbuds case here and charge it up from dead. That's a pretty handy tool to have. Another nice thing about the Tribit Flybuds 3 is that they're really tiny. They are very small, very low profile. When you stick them in your ear, you can barely tell that I'm wearing them. Uh, they're very comfortable, very secure fit again, and they sound really good. Not quite as good as the Jaybird Vistas I just talked about, but very good for uh, around 30 or $40 on Amazon. Okay, this next one's gonna be a little bit weird, but it's something I've newly been introduced to and I've quickly fell in love with. This is the Tautronics Massage Gun. After a really long effort when you have like tight calves and muscles that hurt and things just feel all tight and you want to loosen up you could foam roll or you could pick up one of these Tautronics massage guns and blast them out with an electronic uh, percussion therapy. What's cool about this massage gun, it's actually relatively quiet for what it is. I tried one before that was super loud. It sounded like a power drill going off every time you turned it on and off. But uh, this one, it's not too bad. On the back of the massage gun, you've got various settings. You've got your power button and you can speed up and down. There's an on and off switch underneath here. And it comes with a variety of tips that you can pop on the front here for all kinds of applications, whether it be on your calf or your neck or your back. I typically just leave this ball in the front because that's always like my calf or my quads I'm massaging. But this thing is super handy. It really can take the knots out. I like to use it on the bottom of my foot. A lot of people probably haven't tried one of these things because the barrier to entry is a little steep. This is about a $100 item. There are other ones on the market, but like I said before, I tried one before that was much cheaper and it was super loud. It didn't work quite as good. So it's worth investing in a bit of a nicer one. So if you know a runner that's always foam rolling or stretching or whatever, they'd probably appreciate a time Tronics massage gun under their tree with a bow on it. Okay, I saved the best for last, GPS watches. If you're new to my channel, I know a crap load about GPS watches. I've got a ton of them. I've compared a lot of them side by side. And for this holiday season, I have whittled down my top picks to three devices that I think are the best and worth buying for the runner in your life. We're gonna start with the cheapest GPS watch and work our way up to the most expensive in this lineup. To start this off, we're gonna talk about the Coros Pace 2. 
This watch retails for $199, and I tell you what, you get so many features for 200 bucks in this watch. Not only is it only 29 grams and super lightweight, it packs in a punch. It's got running power from the wrist itself, it's got great GPS accuracy, it's got a good heart rate sensor on the back, and it all comes in a pretty stylish form factor. Koros really changed the game when they released this watch because it really set the bar high for watches that are released at around 200 bucks. Picking up the Koros Pace 2 is a great option, and it's going to be a great gift this holiday season. Unfortunately, supply and demand has been an issue with the Pace 2 and they're trying to pump out more out of their factory, but man, they're selling out of these like crazy. But if you can get your hands on a Coros Pace 2, definitely pick one up for the runner in your life. All right, next up in the GPS watch category is the Apple Watch SE. And this is something I didn't expect I'd be saying, but I really enjoy my time with the Apple Watch SE. If you know a runner that has an iPhone, that's very important because it only works with an iPhone. And maybe they're tracking all of their runs with their iPhone, they need to move on to the next step, or they wanna really have a way to integrate with their iPhone and be able to answer calls and messages and also be, be able to track their runs with it, the Apple Watch SE is awesome for $279. The only downside to this watch is the battery life is kind of so-so. You only get a couple of days out of it before you need to charge it again. Whereas something like the Coros Pace 2 has up to 30 hours of GPS battery life and can go for like three weeks without having to charge it. But it's for a different type of person. If they're more of a techie person, they want to be able to answer their phone calls and you know listen to music and all that stuff, the Apple Watch SE is a better choice for iPhone users, of course. And this final one is for the hardcore runner in your life. Maybe they're a trail runner going for their 100 miler or 50 miler. Maybe they're a hiker. Maybe they're someone who backpacks for weeks on and and this is the Garmin Forerunner 945. This watch is not new, it's been out for a while now, but what makes this watch special is that its current price is around $500. For $500, you get a lot of watch with the Garmin Forerunner 945. The Garmin Forerunner 945 features full-on topographic mapping, it's got an accelerometer on board, it's got an altimeter, a compass, all of those things. It's also got incredible battery life and a ton of features for training. It gives you your VO2 max, it gives you all that data right on the watch itself, and I really have enjoyed my time with the Garmin 400 945, so it's making it in this video for my top three GPS watches. I would only get this watch if your runner is super hardcore, somebody who spends a lot of time out there, they're logging, you know, 40, 50, 60 miles a week, and they need a watch that can keep up with that demand. Okay, that just about wraps it up for things you can buy for the runner in your life this holiday season, but I've got two more. These are kind of a bonus. First off, let's talk about time. Time is the most valuable asset in the world, uh, in my opinion, in my life, and it's probably that way for a lot of you out there. This holiday season, try to give that special someone in your life a little bit more time to get out and run. Maybe it's an hour here and there. Maybe it's taking the kids uh, to your mom's house or your dad's house. Maybe it's just finding more time to be together and go out for a run together because that stuff is just so hard to come by. Sure, you can buy all these gadgets and widgets and headlamps and all that stuff, but if you don't have time to use it, it's not valuable to you. So time, if I could buy it, I would buy all of it, but you can't, so you gotta try to make it. And my final thought here is something that may be a bad idea, but I don't know, let's talk about it anyways. If you know somebody who's been eyeballing a race, maybe in 2021 when things won't all be canceled, maybe you could buy them that race registration and print it out uh, from Ultra Sign Up and stick it in their stocking or wrap it up or something like that. Something to keep in mind here is if they were on, a, on the fence about it, if their training isn't ready, I wouldn't buy it then, but if it's somebody you know is ready for that race and maybe they just don't think they can afford it like if it's a hundred miler and se several hundred dollars uh contributing to that would be a big deal to them and some of these big races can get really expensive i think that would be thoughtful and kind of a clever idea uh to help them hit their goals okay that's all i've got for you today i just want to talk about some of the gifts that i'd be personally excited about to see under the tree this year and i bet the runner in your life will also be i hope you found this helpful and if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss more videos from me in the future I'll I also want to remind you that I have links to all the things I talked about in this video down in the description down below. Those are affiliate links and they do help support my channel, but they cost nothing to you. Think I'm done now. I'll see you next time.